A lot of patients are confused about why they have the symptoms that they have. And in fact, clinicians don't know why either. What we do know is that one of the most predominant consequences of having chronic fatigue syndrome is an immunological response. And one of the predominant immunological responses is inflammation. If inflammation is present in the body, since the immune system is everywhere in the body, what will happen is that this inflammation can go anywhere and probably does go everywhere. And to what extent it goes to different organ systems in the body is essentially dependent upon the individual patient. So that individual patients will vary in the amount of inflammation that is present in the various organ systems. For example, some patients may have inflammation in their muscles and that may contribute to the fatigue and pain that they feel in their muscles when they exercise. One of the largest areas that appear to be inflamed in chronic fatigue syndrome is the brain. And there, not only can the tissues of the brain be inflamed in and of themselves, but what can happen is that the blood vessels that are in the brain may also be inflamed. Usually when tissues are inflamed, they usually swell. And if the tissue in the brain swells, then there will be problems getting oxygen into the brain and getting carbon dioxide out of the brain. And there are other metabolites that may accumulate in the brain that will have a more difficult time getting in and out of the tissues of the brain. If you couple that with the fact that the cardiovascular system or the blood vessels that enter into the brain and exit from the brain are also going to be inflamed, they too may swell. And of course, the blood vessels work by moving substances into and out of the blood vessels and into the tissue across a lining or the tubing of the brain. And so if in fact the tubing swells, that will impede the flow of oxygen, carbon dioxide, and other metabolites into and out of the brain. And so therefore, you can have an accumulation in the brain of these substances that are not flowing in and out as easily as they would were inflammation not present.